Now, the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights is raising concern over the recently concluded police recruitment, insisting the process did not meet the required standards. KNCHR says this is according to the 2015 National Police Service Commission recruitment and appointment regulations. <laughs> It's a grueling exercise that is not only nearly breaking the backs of those participating, <laughs> but also receiving a lukewarm review from the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights. Although the body does admit that the exercise was more credible than a similar one conducted last year, the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights insists that the gender balance still remains a huge problem in the recruitment exercise. Most of the centers had on average 25 to 30 recruits uh, being taken, but none of the centers actually took more than three women, and that is a major source of concern. In Tabaka Primary School in Mandera County, for instance, only one female was selected out of 28 people who qualified at that station. The Kericho Green Stadium had only two female participants selected compared to 24 male counterparts. The situation was similar in Turkana and Kirinyaga counties where the ratio of male to female selection was nearly 6 to 1 in each case. The situation perhaps precipitated by the fact that the recruitment exercise mainly focuses on physical prowess at the expense of other character traits, a method that some Kenyans say is rather rudimentary. Tunafaa kubadilisha mutindo wa kuchukua ama wakufanya recruitment. Sababu tumeenderea saidi, laki tunaona the way of recruiting. Ni hire hire tuliansa nae wakati wa mse kenyata aliansa kuangosa hii inti. Not only is the physical aspects of the process in question, some argue that academic qualifications during the recruitment ought to be upscaled. Currently, the law stipulates that one should possess a minimum mean grade of D plus and above in the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education to qualify for the exercise. And with the evolution of the modern-day criminal to include the rise of cybercrime, the commission is warming up to the idea of having a police service with the intellectual know-how of combating such crimes. These are just some of the things that I think uh, are the challenges that face uh, modern policing in our country and uh, even within this region. We need more intelligence-led policing and less of the men on the ground, the boots and all this. Uh, if that was the approach, a, a whole number of Kenyans would be serving in the service. Not only the ones who have 32 teeth, the ones who are six feet tall, the ones who are muscular and all that. We could even have persons with disability who are absolutely good in collecting information, intelligence gathering. There is no reason why they shouldn't be in the police service. To me, I can say uh, police forces should be free. So long as you are a form four, I can say you are good to go because police force is a force. It deals with the force. There is no professionalism. There is nobody who can say that I am a professional in policing. No, no, no. It is a force whereby you just need a physique. The commission's assessment of the exercise followed a monitoring process of the police recruitment involving 75 individuals spread out across 25 counties. Those successful will have to undergo a nine-month training exercise before being incorporated into the National Police Service. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.